here's our card for this week. Isn't it cute? And it's so easy. And we're going to do the inside in the envelope. Join me in the craft room and I'll show you how. All right, I'm going to be using Painted Harvest and specifically the leaf images along with that sentiment. I'm going to be using Old Olive ink and I have some of the Old Olive, uh, what kind of ribbon is it? Sheer ribbon. I know they say sheer, but it's not, um, that I'm going to use. I have a piece of Whisper White that is actually three and a fourth by four and a four and a half. This piece of Old Olive is three and a half by four and three fourths. I have my Whisper White for the inside that's four by five and a fourth. And I have my card base that's Old Olive that's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. And I have my envelope. All right, first thing I need to do is to address my front panel. And I'm going to take my sentiment and I'm going to stamp it in the upper right hand corner, like so. And I think it's crooked. No, it's not. I just looked it to me. All right, so I've got that. Now I want to do my leaves and I want to do some off stamping. So I'm pulling in another piece of paper and I'm going to start with, um, I don't know, the fern looking one. And I want to stamp the solid piece. I'm going to off stamp it so it's light. And I'm going to stamp it again over here, but I'm going to change the angle a little bit. All right, now I want to stamp on top of that, and I'm not going to off stamp it, but I have to match up as close as I can get to the other leaves. All right, so what I take and do is I take that top one and I line it up and then work my way down. All right, I've got those on there. Now I want to do this one, and I may go back and add more. I don't know. I just have to wait and see. So I'm going to off stamp that, put it down here. I'm going to off stamp that one, put it here, and I'm probably going to be going back to add more. But I'd rather add a few at a time, and I'm not off stamping this one. I want it full strength. Um, I'd rather have have to go back and fill in than to have stamped too much. All right, I'm going to stick a piece in there and a piece here. Let me get my, I'll turn that one that way. And I think I'll come back with one more of these and I'm gonna, hmm. nope, 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 nope. Maybe up here. Oh, poo, I rocked it. Let's see if I can get it lined up. Eh, yeah, not bad. Good enough for government work. All right, now go back in and fill in my other pieces. When you off stamp it, it's harder to see that bottom piece. Um, this one is a little bit easier to see. I don't know why. Maybe it's because there's spaces. And let me get this last one. All right. There we go. That one's off, but it's okay. It's a handmade card. All right. Now I'm going to attach this to this. And then I'll do my ribbon. All right. Let me get this on here as 
evenly spaced as I can. Come on, don't stick yet. I don't, I don't have a choice. Ah, I slid it a little. Sometimes you can slide it. Give it a little bit of muscle. All right, I don't, I'm gonna put this on with dimensionals, but I wanna put my ribbon on next. And what I'm gonna take and do is I'm gonna add several strips down the side and then tie a knot. So there's one, two, three. And I'm gonna tie, all right, I need my tear and tape. Um, always sandwich your ribbon in between um, tear and tape so it doesn't come apart. Okay, it's gonna come down this side, so I've gotta put it here and here. All right, oops. See if I can get this off. Burnish it in good. There's one. There's the second one. I'm either getting better or it's aged. <laughs> and not as sticky. All right, I'm gonna take the first one and I'm gonna attach it here. I'm gonna go down and attach it at the bottom, making sure it's straight. And then the next one's gonna be a little bit over And again, I'm watching my spacing as best I can. The ribbon has a little bend to it, so you have to keep that in mind. All right, there's my last one, and I'm going to attach it and come down here and attach it down here. And then I'm going to go on the back, and I'm going to add another piece of tear and tape on the back over top and I'm not taking the backing off of this because I'm using um, dimensionals on the back of this for my card base so I've stuck that down all right now let me add my dimensionals and then I can always um, add my top ribbons later Right. And there's going to be a lot of dimensionals on the back of this because this is a fairly large panel and I want to make sure it stays stuck down. And this one's go here. Don't put it on top of the tear and tape, your dimensional. It won't stick. It'll come off. Okay. Now I need to get some dimensionals in the middle of the card to give it some extra support there. So I'll put one here and here, flip it around and put one here and here and one right there. So I have plenty of dimensionals. All right, let me get my card straight. And now I've got to take off all my backs. All right, I got all my backs off, and boy, they were a lot. But I want to make sure it stays. Now, this goes on, and it's got a little bit more of a border all the way around. And you know what? I think I'm going to pull this back in, and I'm going to add some leaves because I just feel like it needs something. I'll set this aside something around the edge and I'm gonna use this one it's the um, the fern looking one but it's the the one that has the um, the texture to it I couldn't think all right let me go this way now and I'm varying the way I go with it it's not all going to show, but it's just giving, giving the edge something, something extra for interest. Oops, I don't want to go that way. I'm 
trying to rotate the directions I go so that I have all right let's see what that looks like I think it should work and I think it'll give it some texture and make it make it pop oh yeah much much better all right I'm gonna put this down and now I'm gonna tie my ribbons and all I'm gonna do is tie a knot around each one but I'm going to change the position of the knot so this one will be up high let me get my ribbon scissors so I can trim it all right the next one I'm gonna go a little lower And I'm only tying one knot. Um, I it's a silky ribbon, but it it sticks. <clears throat> and then the last one, and you can slide these once you get them tied. Okay. And just a little tiny tail. All right. Now, let me look and see that just it just gives it a little bit of extra emphasis. All right, ladies, there you have it. And I did the inside in the envelope. Let's see what we're gonna do next week. I'm not looking. I'm looking to the side. Oh, a bunch of blossoms. All right, and let's see color-wise. What am I going to do? Please get a good color. Balmy blue, not bad. Okay. I hope I've inspired you today. Give this one a try. Use whatever leaves you have. If you liked my video, give me a thumbs up. Share it so others can see how to use one color and one stamp set and create a great card. I hope you'll join me next week when I do Bunch of Blossoms with Balmy Blue. Have a great day.